Welcome to What I Eat in a Week, where I will be showing you guys all the foods that I decide to cook during the week. So first, we're going to start off with some spaghetti squash after I can, you know, crack it open. So after you, you know, scrape the guts out, you just want to lather it down with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and then poke a few holes in it and then throw it in the oven and then you're pretty much done. Usually I like to do like a tomato based sauce, but this time I decided to do like an alfredo type of deal. So I started with some spinach and then I did some vegan chicken, added some sun dried tomatoes from Trader Joe's of course. Those things are the bomb. If you haven't tried them, get on that. But yeah, and then I just added the sauce. It's a cacao pepe sauce from Trader Joe's of course, because I get everything from Trader Joe's. And then I just seasoned it up a little bit how I liked it and that was the sauce. Once you grab your spaghetti squash out the oven, this is what it should be looking like. Just fluff it up with some fork and yeah, it should give you some spaghetti-like texture. So then I decided to make me some garlic bread, but I realized I didn't have minced garlic and I also ran out of butter. As you can see, I ran out. So I just decided to use some olive oil and then after I sprinkled it with olive oil, I dusted it with some garlic powder and it actually tasted pretty good. I did burn the bread a little bit. Mind your business, it's okay, it still was good. But yeah, and this is just a meal. I just put it all together and it was mm, so good. This day I was really craving a grilled cheese so that's what I decided to make. I started with the truffle aioli from Trader Joe's of course and it's gonna act as like the mayonnaise to get like that nice crispy crunchy crust on the bread um, I got the bread from work and it's like a challah bread it really reminds me of like a, a croissant type of deal um, and then this cheese again stole from work it's just a Monterey Jack cheddar blend I work at a restaurant by the way if you all didn't know and then those tomatoes again and then um, topped it off with a piece of bread, flipped that bad boy, and that's all she wrote. And I just love a sandwich and salad moment, so I just paired it with some mixed greens that I, again, got from work. So as I was leaving the gym this day, I really just wanted some salmon. So I stopped at Whole Foods and I bought this tequila lime salmon. Oh my God, it was so good started with some butter and some olive oil in the pan I didn't bother adding too much more seasoning to the salmon because it already had that that marinade on it then I have these vegetables that I got from Trader Joe's and just kind of sauteed them up with the sauce that it came with made some honey butter for my sweet potato that I made off camera and that was that was it So out of all the meals I made this week, this was definitely my favorite and it's just a Brussels sprout and kale salad that I found off TikTok. So I just start by thinly slicing some Brussels sprouts and some kale. All the bits that I don't use that I would end up throwing away, I end up actually putting in a Ziploc bag with other remainders of veggies and stuff that I've used before so that eventually I can end up making some veggie broth. After I finish chopping them all up, I just end up putting them on a pan with some olive oil and then just seasoning it how I like and then throwing it in the oven. So the recipe also calls for crispy chickpea crumbles, which are kind of like a crouton moment, but smaller form. So I just crushed up some chickpeas, put some olive oil, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, whatever you like. Pop that bad boy in the oven and then we wait.
So while that's cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the dressing. So I'm just gonna start with some hot oil first. Then I'm just gonna chop some garlic and some parsley up. Then the hot oil comes into play because it'll help to kind of melt down the anchovies that we're gonna put in here. Then I just add the parsley, the garlic, the lemon juice, and some tahini into the bowl and kind of mix it all together, throw it in the blender to make it smooth, and that was it. This was the first cooked salad that I've ever made. And I can say it was super easy, super simple. You really just throw everything in the oven and then assemble it at the end. And so, yeah, if you're looking for a salad but you kinda wanna spice it up and you also want something a little less um, cold and a little less raw, I would definitely try this out because it was so good. But that's really it for this week. Thank y'all for watching. It's always appreciated. Hit that like button if you really enjoyed it. And see y'all next video.